Good morning, Cece from Escape the Rumors, and it's day three of our tour. We are in Michigan now. Our first stop of the day is Decode Ypsilanti, and we're playing one game here. So if you uh, turn left on the side of the road uh, of the escape room, you'll find this uh, main road, and on this road, um, it's free parking. It's time to go in and check them out. Like and subscribe. This video is sponsored by ER Champ. ER Champ is an international escape room competition where teams from all over the world compete to get the best score in solving puzzles. Join the ER Champ 2024 and become world escape room champions. The qualifications will take place online on June 29th. For more information, check out their website, erchamp.com. What's going on everybody? Brandon from Escape the Rumors. Day three on our road trip escape through 10 states and we've made it to Michigan. And we are at Decode Ypsilanti, one of their locations, and I'm with Pat and the co-owner. How are you? Good, how are you doing? I'm good. Well, you nailed it, getting Ypsilanti right off the bat. That's impressive. Most groups, I had a lot of practice. but <laughs> <laughs> Most groups really struggle saying the name, so well done. Well oh, done, you're well, doing great so far. One check for the day. <laughs> well, we are playing the Aurora Society today here, and then we're gonna go and head over to their other location, which is in Ann Arbor, and we're playing Around the World in 80 Days, I believe. That's the plan, yeah. Okay, but before all that, I gotta talk with Patton a little bit about him and the location. First of all, which one is first? Like, which location did you open up first? Well, actually, we opened up a location that doesn't exist anymore, but it was at in Ann Arbor, closer to the old one. Okay. But as of now, this is the older location. So this is the original stuff. Uh, you know, nowadays. Oh, and then you went back and opened a second location and all You got it, on. you got it, yes. All right, yes, and yep. when did you open this location? This one opened in 2018. 2018. 2018. So it's been around a while. It's, uh, uh, we uh, refurbished this building from basically being uh, defunct. A lot of the, the structure of the building was bad, so we fixed it all up, made uh, the Aurora Society here, and we've okay. been here ever since. All right, and then um, the other location, Ann Arbor, when did you open that one? So originally we opened in 2016, but the new location was supposed to open in 2020. We all know what happened there, uh, <laughs> but it ended up opening in uh, 2021 uh, with Around the World in 80 Days as the feature game there. All right. And then how many games do you have available at this location? So there are two here right now. There's the Aurora Society, which you're about to play. And then there is the library, Ooh. which is like a small team version of the Aurora Society. Typically, if we had a group of two, that's where we direct them. Okay. It is designed for, uh, it's for linear play for your more uh, savvy puzzlers out there. Uh, but it's one puzzle at a time. Okay. Um, and so typically that's where we have, when we have like new groups of two and they're like, I want to know what this escape room thing is. Mm -hmm. That's where we point them. All right. And then out of the two, which seems to be more popular in terms of booking? Or is it because question. of the size base? They're all about size. So okay. Aurora Society is typically for those large groups. Now you two are talented, so I'm sure you'll do great. But uh, <laughs> Uh, it's but early in the morning now. <laughs> that's true, it is. No, uh, but the Aurora Society is typically for the groups of like six or more. So okay. it's a big team game. There's a lot of things to solve in there. So we are currently in that game he was talking about, the library. And it's really cool and mysterious. Like I love the vibe that's going on in here. Um, now let me ask you something. When players are in the room, whether it's this room or any other rooms that you have, mm -hmm. and you're game mastering, mm -hmm. Can you share a story of what you've seen them do while watching them on the camera? Any crazy story, funny story, whatever you like to share. Sure, sure, absolutely. Well, my favorite instance uh, is always when you have a really young player mm. who's also the smartest player in the room. Uh, that uh, tends to be what happens. It does <laughs> tend to be, yeah. You get like a seven-year-old and they are, it's happened a couple times, where you have like the seven-year-old daughter and she has the right answer and she's like, Dad, this is what you're looking for. Mm -hmm. This is what you're looking for, Dad. Dad's like, go away, we're trying to solve the puzzle. And so that is always funny because, you know, as someone who's observing the game from a third perspective, you can see that eventually they figure it out. Eventually they right. turn to their daughter and they go, 
oh my gosh, you had it the whole time. And it's just a wonderful moment for the little girl because she gets to be like, I was the hero. Right. I was trying to tell you. Yes, exactly, exactly. <laughs> Do you have a nose so, like, hey, you might want to listen to your daughter. <laughs> <laughs> well, usually are pretty good about it but every once in a while you get somebody who just also loves the puzzle so much okay. it's never it's never uh, the apparent that he's being like mean to the child it's just like yeah. the parent who's laser focused they're like there is a puzzle and i cannot be distracted with whatever you're telling me yeah uh, it's like so, oh wait i'm doing something exactly I can't think. Doing something. Doing something. <laughs> yeah so exactly but no it's uh it's always fun to watch families come and play because they all have their own dynamic but it just eventually sorts itself somewhat so sorts itself out one way or the other in a way that's uh, fun for everyone yeah i totally agree um now decode is a family-owned business right we are yeah okay um and now since you guys are a family-owned business mm -hmm. and you're a co-owner is there any like words of advice or any tips you'd like to share with future owners or current owners mm. in the industry mm. uh, I guess in terms of uh, being a family-owned business I mean I working with your family mm. is a gift mm -hmm. um, I really love working with uh, my parents who do a lot of the construction and the puzzling and my brother mm. who does a lot of the sort of brainstorming and design that sort of thing um, uh, but it also is a challenge because you're working with people who you love and yeah. who you also have passionate feelings with um, and so I guess my advice is that you just have to take it one step at a time. You know, small business is an adventure. And so, uh, you know, every day there's a new challenge to solve. Yeah, um, absolutely. So. Yeah, especially as a family owned business, it is different. It's a different dynamic. It can be, yes, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. All right, so Patton, do you have any updates you'd like to share uh, coming from Decode? Do you have a third location opening or more rooms or anything you want to share? Sure, absolutely. No, we're super excited because we're opening our newest game, okay. uh, which I will reveal here is called The Mezzanine over at Decode Ann Arbor. Ooh. It's very exciting. It's going to be an adventure where you and your team are traveling to the lost city. You're trying to find some items that have been lost in this cosmic lost and found. Um, you know, when you lose like a sock in the laundry mm -hmm. or a remote between the cushions, mm -hmm. well, it's falling into this mysterious place. And your job will be to travel there and try to come back without getting lost yourselves. So it'll be a lot of fun. Wow. But that one has been under construction for a couple of years now. Okay. So it's a big game. Um, and, uh, and I feel like it's just like we've obviously learned a lot over the years and this one we get to practice all or we get to show off all the things that we've we've buying it all together up. exactly exactly a lot of the cool techniques and special effects and puzzles and all that sort of stuff is going to be wow you heard it here first the mezzanine so we've been compiling a list of uh for 2024 new games and upcoming games of a bucket list and that one's definitely going on there so thank you for uh, <laughs> that's great Thanks, revealing yeah. that one the mezzanine mm -hmm. <laughs> um now do you play escape rooms Oh yeah, absolutely. All right, what's your number? Do you know your number? It's not that high. It's not that high. I love them, but admittedly, I spend most of my time building them. Yeah. It's in the it's in the double digits somewhere. Not okay. not up there with the people who played like hundreds. <laughs> uh, but, uh, but now, absolutely. is there one? Uh, actually, you can give me two. Um, one that stood out for you anywhere in the world, preferably the name of the company. And the and if you want to give a shout out to a local company. Sure, it. sure. Well, I'll give you the local one first because I, I hope you'll visit them while you're here in Michigan. Uh, Five Senses uh, over in Novi. Okay. Uh, they have a great game and they are passionate about it, which is so much fun. Uh, but another owner uh, who I love to talk with and uh, who has a spectacular game uh, is Summer over in Seattle with Locurio. Mm. Um, and which one? The well, Vanishing Act? Or? I, actually, I played the Vanishing Act remote. This was, you know, a okay. uh, pandemic thing. Same. Great game. It actually <laughs> translated pretty well to remote. Um, but the story keeper wins for me because I got to play it in person. So, all right, absolutely. Well, shout out to Five Senses, who we will be visiting later on, later on today. Uh, you could check out a link for that video up there. I'm giving it to you beforehand. Um, and then also shout out to Locario. All right, one last question because we want to get to know you a little bit better. What is something that most people do not know about you outside of the code? Do you have like a hidden talent, a hobby, something you like to do? Or well, my favorite thing to do here in the summer because we are finally here in summer in Michigan, which yep. probably similar uh, out east. It's you know it's limited. You only get your uh, three months of the year that's like true summer. Uh, we have a beautiful river here called the Huron River, and I love tubing down the river. Um, it is just a wonderful way to spend an afternoon. 
Um, it's, Wait, it's just you, open for anyone to bring their own tubes and jump yeah, in? Yeah, I mean, it's I mean, we're a small town here, so no one stops you. You just grab your old, grab your tube, you put it in at the top of the river, and you come all the way down. That's cool. Uh, and it's safe, though, right? Like, yeah, it's, okay. it's safe. I mean, you know, don't drink the water, probably. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, you shower afterward, and you're fine. And you don't worry about all of the industrial stuff or whatever from the uh, years past. Oh, but. no, I meant safe, like, rapids. There's no rapids. Oh, no, here. no, no. Yeah, it's absolutely fine. In terms, oh, yeah, it's, cool. It's a nice, calm river. It's a great river. All right. Well, if you're around in this area um bring an inflatable tube yeah, and head on down there you might see it there <laughs> yeah definitely definitely <laughs> well, three hey, days a week <laughs> thank you so much for having yeah, us thanks for coming over you guys make sure you go to our website escape the rumors.com so you know what we thought of the two games that we're playing at this location which is the aurora society and around the world in 80 days at their ann arbor location and uh follow them on their social media for more updates such as like the mezzanine when it's releasing yeah. um and then also do not forget to like and subscribe to our youtube channel because you're getting a glimpse of what to expect when you make it on over to decode it Ypsilanti. Ypsilanti. There you see, go. See, Ypsilanti or Ann Arbor. Uh, the parking situation, what the lobby looks like when you come in. And we also get to speak with the people behind the scenes, the creative ideas and all the work and passion that goes into their rooms. Um, and yeah, make the trip over. Peace.